Good morning, students. So continuing from last week's uh, IP version 4 addressing, uh, today we'll be doing an exercise, exercises related to IP version 4. Uh, what we do first, uh, I just show you one exercise, okay, um, how you have to do it, uh, and then you can do the rest uh, by yourself and show it to me. So, Look at this exercise. What we have to do is, as it's given to us, uh, a host IP address is given to us. If you look over here, this host IP address uh, is 192.168.200.139. The original subnet mask was 255.255.255.0. Okay. So the original subnet mask was slash 24. Now, if you observe, the new subnet mask has been changed to 255.255.255.224. Okay, so this is the new subnet mask. Now, based on this information, we have to find out the rest of these. Okay. So the first thing is, let's uh, break this down into binary format, okay? So convert this into binary format. Once you do the conversion, you will see that you have got uh, there. 24 bits. Network portion is? 24 bits. As you can see over here, network portion is 24 bits. Host portion is 8 bits originally. Now what you see, now again you convert this into binary format. Now if you convert it into binary format, you see remember originally it was this. Now it has been converted to this. What does this mean? That means, you see, there, 8 plus 8, plus 8, 24, 25, 26, 27. So this is a slash 27 network, okay? You have taken it from 24 and made it 27. So over here, if you see, we have taken three bits from the host portion. These three bits, okay, have been taken from the host portion and add it to the original 24. So we have made it 27. So the first question, yeah. So the first question you have to see is that, yeah, you can see that from uh, 24, we have made it 27. The first question says, what is the number of subnet bits that you have borrowed? Just count, how many have borrowed? One, originally it was this, now it is this. So how many have borrowed? One, two, three. So the answer here will be three, okay? Number of subnets created. Remember the formula? Two to the power of three. Two to the power of three would be eight subnets. That means I can create eight subnets, okay? With this uh, borrowing of three bits, okay? That means with this slash 27, I can create how many subnets? I can create eight subnets. Number of host bits per subnet. How many host bits now we have? Earlier we had eight, but since we have borrowed three, now we have one, two, three, four, five. Answer is five. Host bits per subnet. Next, number of hosts per subnet. How do you calculate that? You know the formula? Two to the power of, how many host bits do you have? How many host bits do you have? Five. So, two to the power of five minus two. Two to the power of five will be 32. 32 minus two, that would be 30. Okay? So, you can have 30 subnets, okay? 
sorry, you can have 30 hosts per subnet, eight subnets. So total devices would be 30 times eight, okay? 240 devices in the whole eight subnets. Each subnet, eight subnets, each subnet, 30 devices can be added. Next, find the network address of this subnet. In order to find the network address, we have to take the binary format of this IP address and the binary format of the new subnet mask and then do ending, if you remember. Let's, so let's do that, okay? So we have got the IP address of 192.168.200.139 converted into binary format. And you have got your new subnet mask converted into binary format. So let's go ahead and do an ending, okay? One and one is one. One and one is one. Zero and one is zero. Zero and z uh, one is zero. Zero and one is zero. Zero, one is zero. Zero and one is zero. Zero, one is zero. So we got the first one. Next, one and one is one. Zero and one is zero. One and one is one. Zero and one is zero. One and one is one. Zero and one is zero. Zero and one is zero. Zero and one is zero. Got the second one. Next, one and one is one. One and one is one. Zero and one is zero. Zero and one is zero. One and one is one. Zero and one is zero. Zero and one is zero. Zero and one is zero. Got the third one. And here we go with the last one. One and one is one. Zero and one is zero. Zero and one is zero. Zero and zero is zero. One and zero is zero. Zero and zero is zero. One and zero is zero. One and zero is zero. There. You have finished your ending. Now just translate this into decimal and you get your network address, which is 192.168.200.128. That would be your network address. So just put it down over here. 192.168.200.128 is my network address. So what is the first IP address? So on the surface, you know that the first IP address would be 192.168.200.129. Now, how do we get that 129? Okay, remember what I told you? Look at your host bits, okay? Your host bits consist of five host bits. So you can only play with these five host bits over here, okay? So remember the first IP address, everything will be zero, except the last one will be one, okay? So everything will be zero, except the last one will be one. If you translate this into IP address, decimal IP address, it will be 129. For the last IP address, the same thing, okay? You have to take into consideration the five host bits, all of them make it one, except the last one make it zero, just the opposite of this, okay? So what you have to do is make everything one, 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 except the last one will be zero. So one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, translated into decimal will be one, five, eight. So you got your first IP address, you got your last IP address. What is your broadcast address? Just add one to 158, that would be your 159, okay? So the usable addresses are from 129 to 158. You cannot use your network address, you cannot use your broadcast address. So you got an idea of how you're gonna solve this. Okay, so this is what you have to do in today's lab. You have to go to Moodle, open the lab exercise, lab 11, and start doing this. Now, one more thing I want to tell you. If you, if you look at this, uh, this is not part of your exercise, just, just for you to understand. You see over here, uh, we have discussed that we have eight subnets. So this is just one of the subnets. 
okay? 192.168.200.128 is the network address of just one of the subnets. What about the other seven? Okay? If you put it in perspective, let's just put it out here. I've done it for you. Look, the first subnet would look something like this. Okay? This would be my first subnet. The network address would be 192.168.200.0, starting from zero. So the first IP address is one, last is 30, broadcast is 31. Now follow from here. Remember, we have to create eight. This would be the first one. The second one would be, network would be, you see, following from 31, network would be 32, first would be 33, last would be 62, broadcast would be 63. The third, again, following from that, network address would be 64, first would be 65, last would be, because remember, every, every subnet, 30 devices. 65, last would be 94, broadcast is 95. The fourth, again, following from 95, the fourth, the network address will be 96, first is 97, last is 126, broadcast is 127. Okay, remember we are going for eight subnets because we can have, we have borrowed three host portions. So eight subnets, okay. The fifth one, continuing from here, one, two, seven. So this will be one, two, eight. The first one is one, two, nine. The last one is one, five, eight. The broadcast is one, five, nine. This is what we did right now. This is what, my dear students, we have done here, you see. The exercise is pertaining to our fifth subnet. The sixth subnet following from here, 159. So the network will be 160. The first one is 161. The last one is 190. The broadcast is 191. The seventh one will be network 192. The first one, usable IP address is 193. The last IP address is 222. The broadcast is 223. And the last subnet, eight subnet, would be starting with a network address of 224. The first IP address is 225, and the last IP address is 254, and the broadcast is 255. There, you got your eight subnets, okay, with all the range of IP addresses. Get an idea, my dear students, okay? So having said that, now what you have to do is you solve all those, um, the, the exercises that you have been, lab sheet number 11, okay?